Just finished a fun weekend project. This is an old stoplight from downtown Seattle. And what I wanted to do is mount it to my garage and then uh, have the green light come on as I was pulling the car in. So I was getting close to where I wanted to stop, have the yellow light come on. And then of course the red light comes on when it's actually time to stop and have it repeatable so that every time I pull the car into the garage, I can shut the garage door behind me. Uh, in order to do this, I picked up a basic stamp microprocessor and rewired the inside of the stoplight. You can see it up there with some AC power relays to control each of the lights independently. And then, uh, let's just back up. I got an ultrasonic distance sensor and mounted it to the ceiling. You can see it up there. And so that measures the distance from the sensor to the car as I'm pulling in. And then the basic stamp microprocessor figures out which light it needs to turn on. So let me give it some power here. Uh, green light is on. It says time to pull into the garage. So let's go do that. There's the Westie. It started, which is always a good thing. There you can see the green light as I'm pulling in. Now as I'm getting close, it should turn yellow, which it did, and then eventually turns red when it's time to stop. Now let's go see how we did. If I look back, it's a little bit dark, but it's uh, perfect, exactly where I'd want the van to stop. So the next part of the project is I've got an automatic garage door opener. And so I'm going to put the power for the stoplight into the light of the garage door opener. So when I open up the garage door, the inside light for the garage door opener comes on, powers the stoplight, which would be green. I drive into the garage, turns red. I close the garage door, and then when the light for the garage door opener goes out, it kills power to the stoplight as well. So I should have that wired up here as well, but uh, I think for this weekend, this project is a success.